I have rebranded for my own personal use, right? Uh, this instead of stage two of the learning journey of um, you know conscious incompetence, I like to call it the magical land of beginners. Um, and this is where we get to harness what I like to call our beginner's pluck, okay? Um, pluck is my favorite word in the English language. I'm not talking about the verb pluck, which means, you know, of course, to pluck a guitar string or, you know, pluck a chicken. Um, I'm talking about the noun pluck, which means spirited and determined courage. Beginners pluck. It is this whole concept, you guys, that we actually as beginners, when we are truly starting out, whether that's like in childhood, right, like learning to walk or, you know, in our careers, there are things that we will do as beginners more naturally that will actually help us become more creative more innovative and ultimately more successful. But we spend so much time when we're actually beginners being ashamed of it. And then we spend a lot of time when we're not beginners, when we're masters or expertise trying to distance ourselves from it. So whether you are truly a beginner or whether you are a master or expertise, learning how to intentionally own and channel your inner beginner is going to free you up to levels of creativity and innovation and pluck that you have never imagined. Mm -hmm.